In this video, we'll graph the linear equation y equals 4x plus 3. And we'll do it two ways. First, we'll put values in for x here, and then we'll get corresponding values for y. And then we can graph those values for the equation here. Next, we'll look at the slope-intercept formula to check our work. So let's put some values in for x here. How about we start with 0? That's a good place to start. 4 times 0, that's 0. So 0 plus 3, that's 3. If x was 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3, we'd have 7 for y. And let's do negative 1. 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4, plus 3, that's negative 1. So these are the points that we'll graph here for the linear equation y equals 4x plus 3. So let's start with x is 0, y is 3. So we find x is 0 right here, and y is 3. So we go up the y-axis to 3 there. Next, we have x is 1 and y is 7. So we go x is 1, and we go up to 7 on the y-axis. Finally, we have negative 1x and negative 1y. So negative 1x, negative 1y. You can see they all line up. We could just put a line through them. Put some arrows on the end to show it goes to infinity. So this is the graph for the linear equation y equals 4x plus 3. We could have used really any points. I use these because they fit kind of nicely on my graph paper. Now let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So if y equals mx plus b, the slope, m, that's the 4, the y-intercept, that's the 3. And the y-intercept, that's where we're going to cross the y-axis. That's where our line will go through the y-axis. It'll intercept the y-axis. So we go down and find 3 on the y-axis right there. Next, for the slope, let's consider this 4 over 1. It's still 4, but now we can say rise over run. So we'll go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's the rise, over 1 is the run. So we go to our y-intercept, we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. So our point is right there. And I'm out of graph paper, so instead of going up 4 over 1, let's go the opposite direction. Down 4, and then to the left 1. Do it one more time. Down 4, and over 1 to the left. So all of these points are on our line here. So that means we did this first part correctly. This is the graph for the linear equation y equals 4x plus 3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.